नमस्कार आई एम एडवोकेट सौरभ कुणाल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द यूनियन बजट व्यूअर्स दोज हु आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक्स ऑन लीगल एजुकेशन लीगल अवेयरनेस एंड फिनेंशियल एजुकेशन सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज यूनियन बजट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन द यूनियन बजट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन प्रेजेंटेड बाई आवर फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन द बजट कम्स इन द साइड ऑफ कोरोना वायरस पैंडेमिक एंड इट्स रिपरकेशन ऑन आवर इकोनॉमी एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट द इंडियन इकोनॉमी इज फेसिंग इट्स वर्स्ट कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन सिंस नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू एज पर द Union Minister, the budget has has been woven around three themes. First, the aspirational India, aspirational India in which all section of the society seeks better standard of living, with access of health and better jobs. Secondly, economic development of all, which very much reassures the Prime Minister's slogan, "Sabka Saath." सबका विश्वास सबका विकास एंड थर्डली अ केयरिंग सोसाइटी नाउ इट इज पर्टिनेंट टू मेंशन हियर सिग्निफिकेंट अनाउंसमेंट इंक्लूडेड ए स्लू ऑफ हाइक्स इन कस्टम ड्यूटी टू बेनिफिट मेक इन इंडिया हैज बीन अनाउंस्ड इन दिस बजट दिस विल सर्टेनली हेल्प द इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर व्हिच इज फेसिंग लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल ड्यू टू द कोरोना वायरस पैंडेमिक एंड ऑल्सो ड्यू टू द एक्सपोर्ट as the our neighboring country china is pumping uh, low quality goods to india on a very uh, very less prices so obviously it is affecting our indian industries so it is a welcome step for the uh, for india secondly the uh, proposal to disinvest the government has also proposed to do, uh, to disinvest two public sector banks a general insurance company it is uh, let me tell you that privatization no more a dirty word the prime minister the erstwhile prime minister has begun its long back in 1992 when he started lpg liberalization privatization and globalization and now it is uh, privatization privatization is taking its roots in the indian economy now uh, several numerous infrastructure plays uh, Uh, the government has also focused on uh, developing infrastructure so now let's begin the sectoral analysis of this budget first and foremost the agriculture sector as we know there is a huge uproar on the roads in and around the delhi regarding the uh, uh, farm bill so amid the farm bill slogan uh, which uh, as uh, the parliament parliamentarians were saying repeal the farm law but despite of the of the fact that uh, our uh, finance minister reassure that this government is committed for the welfare of the farmers now let's understand what are the uh, major points for the uh, farmers in this agriculture sector uh, for because there there is a some confusion over the msp a maximum support price so the uh, finance minister clarified it that the msp regime now reassures price that is at least 1.5 times uh, of the cost cost of production across all commodities so now it's clear that the msp will remain uh, intact and it will be 1.5 of the cost of production across all the commodities second thing the agri agri credit target has been raised to 16 lakh crores this year and the rural infrastructure the funds allocated for the rural rural infrastructure has also been increased from 30000 crore to 40000 crores apart from that 100 more mandis will be integrated with it now we will next move to the health sector in the health sector the expenditure the health budget 
first time in india the health sector has got its due there is a total 137% increase in the health budget apart from that an additional vaccine fund of rupees 35000 crores also added to it moving to the educational sector uh, the union minister has promised one central university in the lay and 100 more sanic school across the country since privatization no more a dirty word so let me inform you again two more public sector banks apart from idbi and general insurance company will be taken up for disinvestment the budget 2021 has focused on infrastructure and a big push for infrastructure particularly in power railroad metros clean water solar energy for the tax payers uh, there is a good news to cheer up that people above the age of 75 years will be exempted from filing itr uh, for investor also there is a good news a good signal that the investment charter is expected to lay down the rights of the investors and finally to the consumers consumers gold silver copper copper scrap platinum will be cheaper and mobile phone refrigerator mobile phone charger uh, power bank will be costlier apart from that the raw silk uh, imported raw silk and the imported uh, raw leather will be costlier so this is the budget i think it is more focused around agriculture sector and the health sector so certainly and this uncertainty of because due to this corona virus i think uh, out of 10 i will give 7 to this uh, budget thanks for watching uh, this video if you like this video please like share and uh, comment and please subscribe to my channel if you have not not subscribed thank you so much for watching